All right, so section 1.7, medical imaging or imaging techniques. There are a couple different tools that we can use to see inside the body or to see the exterior of the body, and they vary widely. Uh, these are the uh, ones that we're going to be... Okay, so section 1.7, medical imaging... Uh, we have several techniques we can use to see the outside of the body uh, externally or inside the body internally. Uh, most of these are non-invasive, which means that we don't need to put a tube in you or anything. Uh, some of these can be invasive depending on the circumstances. So we're going to look at uh, direct observation, x-rays, CAT scans, MRIs, something called angiography, which can be applied to MRIs and CAT scans. We're going to look at EKGs, or otherwise known as ECGs, and ultrasounds or sonograms. Okay, so the first one is direct observation. And direct observation is literally using your eyeballs uh, to look at your patient. Does your patient look sick? Do they not look sick? Are they cyanotic? Are they pale? Are they diaphoretic? Okay. Um, second one is x-rays. Uh, x-rays are very useful for looking at opaque structures, such as bone. So anything that is thick or dense shows up as white on the x-ray. Anything that is uh, not dense uh, shows up as darker. And x-rays use radiation and uh, shoot still images, not video, but still images um, for us to look at. So for example, here's the chest. And we can see here are the clavicles, the um, collarbones. And here are the ribs. And we can actually see the vertebral column to the posterior of the patient and outlined here is the heart and the heart is located medially and slightly to the patient's left that's why we have an l over here this is the patient's left this is the patient's right okay there is a risk of uh, dna damage or mutation uh, not much though if you get one x-ray here or there but if you're continuously getting bombarded with x-rays uh, you know that can that can damage dna Next one is CT, otherwise known as CAT scan or computed tomography. And what CT does is it uses a high level of radiation, gets transmitted through your body. This table you patient slides the patient in and out through this donut looking thing. And what you can do is you can obtain slices. So this would be a transverse slice and um, produces slices from head to toe or toe to head. Okay. And um, as with x-rays, there is a, a possibility of DNA damage, um, especially because CAT scans use higher radiation than x-rays. CAT scans are good for looking for, uh, for free fluid in the, uh, in the body, whether it's the head or the chest or the abdominal pelvic cavity. They're good for looking for tumors or growths that uh, don't belong there, okay? Now, next is MRIs, so uh, otherwise known as magnetic resonance imaging. And what MRIs do, it looks kind of like a CAT scan, but it's a long tube. And you slide in and out through uh, your own table, uh, the patient is. Uh, instead of using radiation, though, it uses magnetic fields. And it changes the magnetic fields, the direction of the magnets, and produces images uh, of whatever we're imaging. So this, for example, is the tarsal region of the patient. Uh, here's the calcaneal region, the calcaneus, and um, it's very good for soft tissue, meaning looking at uh, brain, spinal cord, muscles, joints, tendons, ligaments, um, very, very good for detail, uh, for fine detail. Um, the only issue is, well, one of the only issues is you can't use it if you have uh, iron-based metal in your body because it's a magnet. It's going to rip whatever is magnetic out of your body. So you don't want to walk in there with a bunch of magnets in your pockets, okay? Next is angiography. And what angiography does is it uses either injected or consumed contrast dye. So they either put an IV in you and inject it or you drink it. And uh, there are a variety of different kinds of contrast dyes. And what they do is, uh, if used in conjunction with either x-rays or CAT scans or MRIs, they're able to produce images such as this one here of uh, blood vessels. So they're good for looking for uh, blood vessels that are occluded, that are blocked, or hemorrhages, uh, blood vessels that have ruptured. 
And what the contrast dye does is it lights up the arteries. Well, it makes them a little darker, but it basically lights them up. Okay, uh, you get real-time images, live, uh, still images, and video. Uh, if we use it with a uh, CAT scan, or rather, if we use it with uh, MRIs, we call it an MRA, okay? And so this is using magnets to look at the blood vessels in the human body. If we use it with a CAT scan, it's called a CTA, and we get this kind of image here looking inside the body. It lights up the blood vessels, okay? Another one is, uh, another type of imaging is the EKG or ECG. It is the same thing. It's an electrocardiogram. And what this does is it produces a uh, graph or it, uh, an image of uh, what the electricity is doing in your heart, how it's moving through your heart. And how we do this is we put uh, one sticker on each arm, one sticker on each leg, and six stickers across your chest on the left side of your chest underneath your left breast. And we hook you up to wires, and it doesn't hurt at all. And what the machine does is it records simultaneously 12 different views of your heart. So here we have one view, second view, third view, fourth, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This bottom view here is of lead V1 continuously. So it's a snapshot of what's going on in a heart at, um, at any one given time. You might notice that these spikes down here are pointed down whereas these spikes are pointed up. That's because the view is looking at the heart from the opposite direction, okay? So we can use this to see how the electricity is flowing through the heart, if it's going normally or abnormally. And again, this is non-invasive. All right, last but not least, ultrasound, otherwise known as sonogram. Uh, what ultrasounds do is they use sound waves to produce images of the inside of the body. And it's good for looking for f uh, free fluid, uh, good for looking for uh, pregnancy, um, and it's very safe, uses no radiation, no magnets, nothing, and it's usually non-invasive. There are some invasive ways to do ultrasounds, uh, but that's outside the scope of this class.